Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be explaining regarding Maths Park, where we wanted to explain the concepts of various maths things within this uh, Maths Park setup. We have depicted uh, various items in this uh, Maths Park. I am going to explain one by one now. The first thing we have depicted here is factor tree. The factor tree is a concept where if you wanted to find a factor of a given number then we can depict in this tree structure to get the factor of a given number. So we have one more item which is linear pair of angles where we have depicted the concept of this and this angle is 180 degree and uh, this and this is 180 degree and this this and this is 180 degree and this and this 180 degree. In a given line any intersection is happening that uh, entire degree we call it as a 180 degree. That is what we are trying to represent here. That is a concept we wanted to showcase here and similarly we also showcase the concept of representing the graph. How we are representing the graph in a coordinate uh, plane. So here we have Y axis and we have a X axis. Top right side we have a X axis which is plus plus uh, symbol where anything which comes in this coordinate which is plus plus X is plus and Y is plus. Similarly we have a quadrant 2 which is minus plus. The X axis is a negative and Y axis remains positive in this quadrant 2. And we have quadrant 3 here, both x and y, which is coming under negative numbers here. If you can see here, right, y is also negative and x is also negative. In the quadrant 4, we can represent x is in uh, plus and y is in negative format. That, that is how we are planning to represent coordinate plane in this graph. And we have one more thing we are depicted here is, Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem says that c square is equal to a square plus b which is this and this is equal to this. That is the concept in Pythagoras theorem where we wanted to showcase here and we have put the values with the formula we can arrive this Pythagoras theorem. And also we have depicted one more item in this park is parts of a circle. There are various parts which are available in the circle where we have depicted a tangent, segment, diameter, center and uh, sector, secant as well as arc we have represented in this parts of a circle. And we have also depicted one more uh, model here which is types of triangle. Various types of triangle we can see here. There is an acute triangle, is there obtuse, right triangle, scalene triangle, equilateral and isosceles triangle. And we are given the different shapes also for this triangle if you can share with the example that would help you to understand what are the various uh, types of triangle. And also we have depicted a number line as well where we wanted to showcase uh, positive, we wanted to showcase uh, positive and negative plus zero as well. If it is in the center which is neither negative or positive. If uh, arrow goes this side, which is positive, all the numbers, if arrow comes this side, we call it as a negative numbers. We will try to demonstrate. See, we have made an arrow here. If it is in center, that number, which is just zero. If it is comes on the right side, the numbers are positive. If uh, comes in the negative side, we call it as all minus with those numbers. And the last one is we are depicted here is uh, types of angles. So we have put a protractor here and we wanted to showcase uh, various angles so that you can learn the concept of angles. The first one is acute angle which is less than 90 degree. Any angle which is less than 90 degree we call it as an acute angle. And any angle which is exactly 90 degree if you can see right which is exactly 90 degree we call it as a right angle triangle. And the third one is obtuse angle, which is angle which is anything greater than 90 degree, but which is less than 180 degree. We call it as a obtuse angle, which we are depicted here now. And we also showcase a straight angle, which is 
180 degree. If you can see right, so we have depicted various things in this uh, park uh, to understand the concepts of various uh, mathematical things so that uh, you can easily demonstrate it in your mass exhibition project. I hope you guys got a clear idea how to explain this uh, mass working model in your exhibition. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.